Good morning and welcome to our children's message for Trinity Lutheran Church in Madison, South Dakota. My name is Lexi Carson and I'm the Director of Faith Formation at Trinity Lutheran. For our children's message this Sunday, um, I invite you to sing along with your family for our first verse of Jesus Loves Me as we get ready for our children's message. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Well, good morning. Now, today our story that we hear in our church service is about Jesus being with a group of people that he sees and he's filled with great compassion for them, is what our gospel says out of Matthew. It says that Jesus was filled with great compassion. Now, why was Christ filled with such great compassion for these people? Well, we are told that these people had a lot going on. They were scared, they were, they were sad, and they were searching for the wrong things. They did not have a shepherd, is what our text says. They were lost sheep. They didn't know where they were going. They didn't know what they were doing. Now, I don't know about you, but there's a lot going on in our big old world that sometimes we're not sure if we're going the right direction either. And sometimes we are that lost sheep that feels like we do not have a direction, that we do not have a shepherd who is guiding us now, I have a story for you that I want to share that goes with this message. It says, it's titled, Maybe God is Like That Too. So where is our shepherd in the midst of times of uncertainty and times when he is filled with compassion for us because we are lost? But where, where is he today? I live in the city where the sidewalks and subway cars and buildings and buses, they are packed with people. But I have never seen God before. Grandma, does God live in the city? I ask one morning at breakfast. Yes, God is here, she says. You just need to know where to look. Whenever you see love, joy, and peace, God is there, she says, stirring her tea. Wherever there's patience, kindness, and goodness, God is there too. When you see faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, that is God's spirit at work. On the way to school, I'm on the lookout. I see a bus full of tourists and count ten bright yellow taxis. I spy a man sweeping a stoop, and Grandma and I laugh when I see a tiny dog wearing a fluffy purple sweater. At school, Grandma hands me my lunch and hugs me close before she says goodbye. That's what love looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. On the swing, I pump so hard I see over the wall into the alley. My friends shout higher, higher as my feet fly way up into the sky. That's what joy looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. Outside, car horns blast and sirens scream, but my classroom is quiet and calm. That's what peace looks like to me. And maybe God is like that too. I try to tie my shoes, but the laces tangle around my fingers. My teacher sits down beside me and shows me how to tie them. That's what patience looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. On the way home, I see a doorman wearing a red cape and a hat with a shiny brim. He's holding the door open for a man using a wheelchair. The man moves very slowly, and the doorman chats with him and smiles. That's what kindness looks like to me. And maybe God is like that too. While I'm setting the table for dinner, there's a knock at the door. It's our neighbor from downstairs bringing us a loaf of bread. It's golden brown and warm and wrapped into a thin white towel. That's what goodness looks like to me. And maybe God 
is like that too. After dinner, I work on my homework while grandma stands at the kitchen sink washing dishes and humming to herself just like she does every single night. That's what faithfulness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. At bedtime, grandma sits at the edge of my bed singing me a lullaby and stroking my head. She tucks up blankets up around close to me. That's what gentleness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I lie in bed watching the curtains flutter. I want to talk about that dog we saw today and how high I can swing. But grandma says that once I'm tucked in, I have to stay in bed until morning. I close my eyes and try to fall asleep. That's what self-control looks like to me. And maybe God is like that too. I saw God over and over again today, whenever I saw love, joy, and peace, and wherever there was patience, kindness, and goodness. When I saw faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, I saw God's Spirit at work. I don't see God the way that I see my friends or the streetlights or the river, but I see signs of God's Spirit all around me, right here in the city. I know what God is like, and maybe I can be like that too. Now, the reason I share this story with you for this Sunday, last week we talked about the Great Commission, how the disciples were sent out by the Holy Spirit to go out and meet people and to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then this week we have Jesus who is encountering these people and he is filled with this compassion, knowing that they are lost. And how can I be there for them? And especially in our world today where this boy, like he shared, I, I don't see God the way that I get to see my friends. But I know that he is still there. And how I know that is because in our story that we read for today, Jesus then says, I am sending out my disciples. I am sending them out to be with you to give you a promise that I am with you always, even when you cannot see me before you. Even in the brokenness of this world, I am with you always and forever, in all places and in all times. And I am sending you out to go preach this forgiveness in this broken world and to guide those sheep and to protect them. Christ was filled with compassion, and he still is filled with compassion for you and for our world. He is the peace that surpasses all understanding, and he truly is with you always. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this day that you have given us. We thank you so much for Christ and the compassion that fills him. We thank you so much that as your last sheep, you meet us and you guide us, and you do not leave us in this broken world. And even though we cannot see you like we get to see our friends and family, we know you are with us. And we ask that you send us to go and give this promise that you are with everyone. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>